This is James Jopling, uh, and this, these are going to be our bugs for the 2022 Shoppers John Deere Tech Challenge. First of all, we have an issue back and back. Um, the drawbar length isn't fully extended correctly. So therefore, the PTO shaft will bottom out and create a noise. And we'll take a measurement of that. That should be approximately 14 inches. And another thing is when he, the individual complained that when he put his box blade on, that the back of the box blade was elevated a bit. And I will show you as far as the center length what that issue is. It's just a positioning problem. Another issue is the warning lights uh, and the tail lights. Uh, individual stated that he replaced a bulb and inadvertently it turned out being incorrect bulb or there's an issue with the bulb. And we'll review that in a moment. The uh, next thing is the PTO seems to be slipping on the cable down below, and we sh will show you that in a moment. Uh, it's far out of adjustment, and we have specifications for that. And the final bug this year, a little bit more complex. Uh, it's one that when you start the machine up, it's going to have a flashing light, and it's going to generate a code. Uh, you, the uh, individual is going to have to retrieve the code and follow the diagnostic procedure in this little mini tech manual that we have. And we'll go over that and it turns out that there's an issue with the oil pressure sensor right here. And there again we'll go into a little detail and diagnostics of that in just a moment. Okay, the first issue, as we discussed earlier, is the length of the drawbar. It's not extended adequately. And what will happen is when you're going along with a uh, PTO-driven implement, you cross through a ditch or something as such, it, the PTO shaft will bottom out. The specification, and that's in the Minitech manual, is 14 inches from the end of the PTO shaft to the hole. And right here, this is 10 inches. So that's incorrect measurement. It needs to be extended. Okay, as per the work order, what the complaint is, is that he detached a rotary cutter and attached a box blade. Now the back of the box blade is too low to the ground. So where the problem is, is the positioning of the center link. You see it's, in the top position to bring up to elevate the rear and level it out it should be in the bottom position here which is highlighted in our mini tech manual so all we're going to do is we relocate the center link to the bottom hole and that will level out the box plate The complaint of the lighting system was that a, bulb, a light bulb was burned out. The individual had a light bulb in his barn and installed that. And now the lights aren't functioning properly. Okay, essentially what we did, uh, we tested, checked, make sure that we had good steady voltage and there was no bridging in the harnessing or anything as such up here. We tested that with the multimeter. Then we tested the light bulb going between the two terminals down here, finding that that light bulb was bridged between both circuits. And being bridged between both circuits, it would back feed into another, the other circuit, which shouldn't have been activated. And that's what caused the issue with the lights acting as they did. You notice both these are on steady and the other two are flashing. The cause of the issue of this was the bridge contacts on the 1157 light bulb, which is a dual element light bulb. And that was causing back feed into another circuit which shouldn't have been activated. 
Okay, another issue of which was complained of is the PTO was slipping uh, whenever he got into heavier grass or what have you. So we need to check the dimensions of the cable to make sure that it is correctly adjusted. So it will be from this bracket right here up to the clevis, the nut part of the clevis. And that should be four inches, give or take maybe an eighth of an inch. And we can actually put a tape measure to it and you'll note that it's approximately four and a half inches, which that's far out of adjustment. Therefore, it's not going to allow the clutch to fully engage and cause the PTO to slip. Okay, the next issue is that a warning light will come on whenever the engine started, the alarm will sound, and it will actually generate and store a fault code. And even uh, if you clear the, try to clear the code, it still is present. So uh, what we do is we will go and the students will have to pull fault codes, and there's procedure in this mini tech manual for that. And they'll find that it's uh, ECU 100.04, which that's engine oil pressure. Now, the procedure in the tech manual states that number one, you'll take the sender out and put a physical gauge in. We're not going to do that. So, one, the next step in the manual would be to check, disconnect that, and we're going to go from pin number one to pin number three with just the ignition in the on position and we're going to check and see if we have five volt displacement and you note that there is essentially no voltage present approximately 148 to 150 millivolts which that's absolutely nothing. It should be five volts. There again, that's in the procedure in the Minitac manual. So that's telling me that there is an issue within the harness. And as far as in the Minitac manual, it's suggested that you contact your local John Deere dealer to correct that.